Here's a video about Magna Flux or what they call, I think Magna Flux is a brand. They call a non destructive testing. So basically, it's to find cracks in metal. You can use it on a lot of types of metal. This is an engine block out of a 2013. Chevy Sonic 1.4 liter. The guy overheated it and blew a head gasket. So, got it tore down. And I've never done this before until today. I did it, well, I did it the other day. And I did it again today just to make a video and show because there's lots of stuff on YouTube, lots of videos about this, but it doesn't seem like people really did their homework or really knew how to use this so the basic story to this is you spray a red dye on and i think you can get other colors too and i got these from this is the penetrant I'm sorry for the lighting i'm trying to throw a light in here it's kind of hard but this is spot check by magna flux i got this one from granger and it's a three-step process so you do the red penetrating dye, then you clean it off with a cleaner. Uh, this is the cleaner, spot check, SKCS. And then the final step is a developer, also spot check, SKDS2, solvent based developer. So these three bottles were just under $100, I believe. Pretty expensive for what you get, but also. It's doing a service, so or uh, lets you do a service to check to see if you got cracks in the engine block. That was my main concern before throwing a rebuilt cylinder head at this. I got the head out. The head was 0 .009 thousandths of an inch out of spec or warped, I guess you could call it. So that either has to be sent in or a rebuilt one. I'm leaning towards just getting a rebuilt one right now. I think they're about 600 bucks. So, that's where we're at right now. But I wanted to check this engine block. So, what I did, and I've already applied the red, because you got to let it set about 15 to 30 minutes, it says. So, I already applied it. And I let it set because I'm not good at editing videos and splicing videos together and pausing. And I wasn't going to do an hour-long video on this. So, until I learn how to edit, if anyone has tips of which programs to use and advice on how to edit that'd be great but I applied this and I did this the other day like I said let it set for 15 minutes I believe and then uh, cleaned it off and I didn't find any cracks and we'll see if letting it set longer comes across anything but one thing that I saw on YouTube that a lot of people were doing and it's one video says it's not the correct way, and the guy really seemed like he knew what he's talking about. But some of the backyard mechanics, they were just taking this penetrant red dye, and they were just spraying it on there, just everywhere. And it gets, it, it's messy. It's kind of like anises. So you don't need to do that. It isn't meant to be used as a spray can. What I did was I took a cheap foam brush, just did a little spray with the penetrant and one spray on a foam brush did this whole cylinder head and <laughs> that's all you need you don't need to make a huge mess so now it's set I'm gonna do the same thing with the cleaner I'm just gonna spray on a clean rag and you just go to town wiping it off now again you do not want to spray this like a paint can onto there because what you don't want to do is wipe the red dye out of any cracks that may be there. If there's a crack, how this works is the dye penetrates, sinks into the crack, and when you clean this, you just clean off the top surface pretty much, and if there's a crack, that dye should be down in the crack. And then when you spray the developer on her, it, it'll 
highlight it and show you any cracks. So you don't want to just soak this down with cleaner because like the dye, the cleaner will soak into the crack and you won't be able to see your crack anymore. So I got her pretty good right now. One last little swipe. Um, the first time I did this, I tried the cleaner on a paintbrush and it didn't work that good. You kind of need just some paper towels. I use, I got these from a friend a long time ago. I think they were just leftovers and they're pretty nice towel as far as soaking up stuff and whatnot. So I got a bunch of them. That's what I use. So as you can see, it's clean now. I'll try and zoom in and see the red on the cylinder walls. But the deck of it's clean. So basically, now you take this developer. And this is white. I think, again, they got different colors of this. And this one, you do spray on. So shake it up just like a spray can. And then, see, it's kind of hard I'm not getting a real good coat because it doesn't spray straight up and down like that. It's kind of like brake clean where you kind of got to hold it at an angle. But you just want a nice even coat, nothing crazy. And now you can set, check and see and there should be if there's a crack should show up again sorry for the lighting I don't know if this will help if I go like that you can kind of see and you just if there's a crack it would show up red is in a red hairline crack in the block and I would guess that it'd be between the cylinders or in some other narrow area but I don't see any so I'm gonna call this block good I'm gonna clean it up again get all this stuff off but that's the the basics to doing And that's the basics to doing one of these dye penetrant tests at home. It's kind of, you know, I worked in a machine shop for a while and we had a Magnaflux where it was this magnet type machine. Not sure exactly how it worked. Never really got involved in that department. But basically, if we machined a part, it went through this and it detected cracks. I think there also was a something they sprayed on and it would show it so this is something you can do at home it's fairly expensive and the cans last I forget I read it said best used by 2027 so I got about five years to use these cans but I'm gonna charge this guy for the cans part of the cost of doing business and I know that this block isn't cracked so I can throw a head on and comfortably send it out the door and he knows it too. So just something that I like to do to be sure. I, I don't like to guess and just kind of hope. <laughs> you know, he, he asked if I could just throw a gasket on and call her good. And I said, no, that's not how we do things. So I got it apart, pay the extra 600 bucks, put a new head on, rebuilt head, and hopefully lasts longer. I mean, these 1.4s, honestly probably one of the worst engines I've ever seen as far as reliability goes they are not good with cooling systems oiling systems there's leaks they they constantly leaking from everywhere so it just turbo problems just one of those things and then they got that wonderful valve cover intake slash PVC system that who knows why they did it like that but it just it really isn't one of the GM's best motors to be honest and 
that's where we're at. Hopefully this helps somebody else, but you do not need to spray the dye like spray paint. It just don't. It'll make a huge mess. And hopefully help somebody, like I said. Have a good day. Bye.